This year is a celebration of the Cuyahoga River and how far we've come since the last time it burned, which was 50 years ago. The river has really improved in a lot of different ways, but we do have some new problems that are popping up. Um, the Clean Water Act was really important in addressing things like what we call point source pollution. So sewage treatment plants, places where you have a pipe that goes into the water system so you can actually turn it off or at least regulate it. But now what we understand is that non-point source pollution. So those are the things that wash off the landscape, that that's also a problem and that contributes in the same way that the point source does. This project is actually a master's student project for my student, Brittany Dalton, and she came up with this project. So it's a revisitation of some sampling stations that were done both in 1974, so right after the Clean Water Act went into effect. 1994, it was revisited 20 years after the Clean Water Act, and we're revisiting it this year in 2019 to see how the river has changed over that time period. So I thought it would be really interesting to revisit these historic studies that were conducted in the 70s and the 90s and see how things might have changed over time. I would hope to see improvement over time and to see an increase in the diversity of the types of algae we find, which would mean that there's an improvement in the water quality in the river. We expect to find that the river has continued to increase and improve since the 1994 data. We think that we may see some influence of road salt. If we don't see it at this site, Hiram Rapids, which is kind of our best case scenario, we may expect to see it at our other sites. We will make our data available to the Ohio EPA. They actually just got through doing two major studies on the river. So in 2017, they did a whole river revisit and study. And then last year, they did all the tributaries to the Cuyahoga River. And so we'll be showing them some of our data too that they can hopefully utilize. Additionally, we will have our data available to the Cuyahoga River community. There are people that work in that community and like to promote uh, river health and findings that we find along the river.